back to another lesson this lesson is a sum of uh, summing of of the earlier two blocks yard stream mechanism so in the previous classes we saw how the lungs pump the air out to produce speech sounds and we also saw the mechanisms or systems involved in producing the speech sounds so there are three systems respiratory phonatory and articulatory systems respiratory systems are the lungs phonatory system is the vocal cord which has a larynx and glottis and the articulatory system includes tongue lips heart palate soft palate and other things now this chapter or this block is the kind of sign up of all the previous two blocks and this is block is named air stream mechanism as the name implies it talks about how the air flows stream is flow how the air flows and the mechanism in the air flow mechanism let's go it into the class there are three main air stream mechanisms involved in producing the speech sounds in the previous class we saw three systems involved in producing speech sound now here we are seeing three mechanism involved in producing the speech sound what are the three air stream mechanisms pulmonic glottalic and valeric so what is what are the three uh, mechanisms in simple terms pulmonic is related to lungs glottalic is related to the vocal cord valeric is related to the tongue three systems and three mechanisms okay now coming to pulmonic pulmonic air stream mechanism consists of lungs and the respiratory muscles muscles attached to lungs that's what respiratory muscle refer to okay now the walls of the lungs act as the ingi- initiator what is the meaning is uh, when the air when we want to produce a speech sound the respiratory muscles pump the air out of the lungs that is what the initiator it initiate the speech sound okay lungs is the l- first organ which initiates the respiratory muscles and the lungs acts as the initiator in producing the speech sounds okay when it when the lungs acts as the initiator they are moved by the respiratory muscles that is the muscles surrounded by the lungs moves the air to the windpipe so the air is drawn in the lungs and pushed out as a speech sound so the outside air is drawn in and the in, the respiratory muscles of the lungs acts as an initiator and pushes out the air to produce speech sound okay when the air is drawn in we call it ingressive ingressive air stream mechanism ingressive for example ah 
when we say ah we the ah the air gets in so it is called ingressive air stream mechanism okay let's see what when the air is pushed out when the same air which gets into the lungs and when it is pushed out to produce speech sounds we call it aggressive in ingressive another one is aggressive air stream mechanism all the speech sounds in english language mostly and most of the indian languages use aggressive air stream mechanism this aggressive air stream mechanism is produced by the compression of lungs okay every time the speech sound is produced in english and most of the indian languages this mechanism involved is aggressive the air is pushed out to produce speech sound so whenever we talk what happens is the air is pushed out to produce the speech sound that is what in simple terms it mean aggressive air stream mechanism so aggressive air stream mechanism simply refers to the process of pushing the air out so it is simply pushing the air out from the lungs aggressive air stream mechanism now there are a few languages which uses the ingressive air stream mechanism that is um we the words are the speech sounds are produced by simply uh, pulling in the air into the lungs sindhi the official language of pakistan uses ingressive air stream mechanism okay what are the other activities which gets which uses ingressive air stream mechanism is yawning and snoring these two activities uh, um you can always say they use ingressive air stream mechanism that is the air gets inside the lungs and they are and the mechanism involved here is the ingressive air stream mechanism yawning and sorry fine so this is called pulmonic so pulmonic has two types so involves pulmonic air stream mechanism involves two types of two types of activities one is ingressive and aggressive ingressive is taking in taking the air inside the lungs aggressive is pushing the air from the lungs to the windpipe fine let's go to let's go to glottalic so we have seen already when the air passes from the respiratory system to the phonatory system there is a lip like structure named vocal cord let me show it to the picture fine see uh, this is the um, phonatory system so in the phonatory system we has uh, we have a bracket like shape called larynx at the top of the vocal cord uh, sorry at the top of the windpipe this is a windpipe and there is a larynx which is bracket shape and between the larynx there is a lip like structure called vocal cord and the lip like structure has a opening called glottis and we are now talking about this glottis okay glottalic is this glottic okay see glottis now glottalic mechanism so the air which passes through this glottalic and the action of this glottis the action involved by the glottis we call glottalic air stream mechanism simple 
So pulmonic artery mechanism is something related to the respiratory system and glottalic artery mechanism is something related to the phonatory system. Very good. Now, the movement of air in the pharynx or larynx. So the movement of air in larynx or pharynx, this one, okay, the phonatory system. See, pharynx or larynx, the movement of air, okay, the air from respiratory system to phonatory system. Pharynx is phonatory system. The movement of air in phonatory system by the action of glottis. By the action of glottis. See, the air from the respiratory system passes, uh, comes to the windpipe and moves into the opening of the vocal cord and goes to pharynx. Okay. Now, this passing from respiratory system to glottis to the pharynx and it happens only with the help of glottis. Suppose you think this opening is not there. Now, if glottis get closed, think if the glottis get closed, the air will get blocked here. It will not move out of the windpipe to pharynx. So, the most essential thing is when the lung pushes the air out, which is pulmonic aggressive as to mechanism, the air reaches the windpipe near the vocal, the air reaches the vocal cord and the vocal cord is ready to produce a speech sound as a result the glottis opens. Fine. Suppose if the glottis refuses to open the speech, there will be no speech sound. So when the glottis open, the sound passes to pharynx. Fine. That is what the statement means. The movement of air in pharynx by the action of glottis is called glottolic airstream mechanism. Okay. So Glottis plays a vital role in passing the air given by the lungs to the articulatory system or pharynx. When the glottis move up, the air will move out of the mouth. Very good. When the glottis move down, the air will get sucked into the mouth. These sounds are called implosive, aggressive ingressive, glottolic, ingressive, aggressive, implosives. Fine. Now, what is when the air pass comes here? Glottis gets involved. So, we call it, what we call is here, what we call glottolic, if, if the air passes inside, if the air passes inside, we call it, because when the air passes, the glottis should remain open. Otherwise, the air will not get into the lungs. So, we call it glottis ingressive and we call it implosives. Implosives. The, when the same air is pushed out by the lungs, it passes through the opening to pharynx and we call it aggressive implosives. Glottis, glottolic, aggressive implosives. So that is what here. When the glottis open, you can move up is open, the air will move out of the mouth. When the glottis move down, that is open, the air will get sunk into the mouth. Either the, if the lung pushes out, the air will move up. If the lung sucks, the air will get in. So these two actions are called implosives. So since it is done by glottolic, it is called glottolic. Since the action is action, if the action is out, it is glottolic aggressive. If the action is in, it is called glottolic ingressive implosives. Simple. Now then, what is valeric? 
Yar flows in from out in producing valeric sounds. The back of the tongue acts as the initiator for the protection of speech sound. The speech sound produced by this method is called oral airstream mechanism. Sounds in African languages are produced by valeric airstream mechanism. Let's see. See, air flows in from out in producing valeric sound. The back of the tongue acts as the initiator for production of the speech sound. Let's see. Certain sounds, there are sounds which we are not used to. It never, the air which we breathe never gets into the lungs, but it is stopped at the back of, by the back of the tongue. So it stops here and it again comes through the mouth itself, oral. See, this, we, people receive the sound and it again, the back of the tongue acts as an initiator, it blocks the sound. So the sound travels to the mouth, the back of the tongue stops the sound and it again pushes the sound back again. This is most of the African languages use this sound, valeric sound, which is where the tongue acts as an initiator. Tongue plays a vital role in producing the valeric sounds. And this is called oral airstream mechanism or valeric. Valeric is the worst mouth. Oral airstream mechanism. To sum up, so there are three systems of speeches, respiratory, phonetary, and articulatory. And three types of mechanisms, pulmonic, glottalic, and valeric. In pulmonic, there are two types of uh, process, ingressive and aggressive. Glottalic, too, has ingressive and aggressive implosives. Valeric is only ingressive, it is not aggressive. Okay, it is ingressive, that is, it it gets the it gets the air in and it rotates the word the sound. Now the mind map. So the airstream mechanism has three: pulmonic, glottalic, and valeric. Pulmonic. What are the organs involved? Lungs and the respiratory muscles. It produces ingressive and aggressive sound. So which is called ingressive pulmonic airstream mechanism. Aggressive pulmonic airstream mechanism. Similarly. When you come to glottalic, pharynx and glottis are two important organs involved in producing this mechanism. It produces both ingressive and aggressive, which are named implosives. So, ingressive glottalic implosive airstream mechanism, uh, aggressive implosive airstream mechanism. No, and the last one is valeric. Well, the African languages use this sound, valeric sounds, where the main part, main function of the organ, main organ is the back of the tongue. Here, there is no aggressive sound, only ingressive. The air is, air gets in and it is um, rotated inside the mouth. Okay. So, that's all about airstream mechanism. Thank you for watching my lecture. If you have any doubt, please put it in the comment box. If you like the video, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thank you.